I've got um, a piece in the chuck which I put a tenon on previously having mounted it between centres. I've just started turning a shape to make a weed pot out of it. I'm not sure what this piece of wood is but it's got a very nice uh, sporty pattern, probably um, probably sycamore, it's quite hard. So I'm just going to see if I can fire this up and uh, see what happens. I'm just uh, running at about 1500 revs with a spindle roughing gouge, tighten everything up beforehand. It's going to create a bit of a profile on the outside. the bark at the bottom to make it look a natural finish and highlighting nice texting with the drop on it outside in the drain. So at this point I've got to decide whether I'm going to drill a hole for the weed pot now or do it in the middle. I should possibly do it now. Let's have a little look at what it looks like. That's looking quite pretty. Uh, needs uh, me to get the um, force in a bit and get the Jacob chuck in place. And I've got a um, a small uh, plastic insert which hopefully will fit. Yeah, just about, which means you can put some water into it. Uh, courtesy of Bo, thank you, Bo. Requires about a 15 millimeter forstner. Um, hole down the middle in order to be able to fix it in there. So I shall whack a 12 millimeter hole down the middle first, all the way down to the depth I need. Get that set in there. So about there. Okay. And set myself up. Back, so I've got some decent travel. In, wind it up, turn the speed down to about 600, something like that, 700, just makes it a bit more controllable. Now you'll always get a bit of wobble, especially on a long drill, which is why it's usually better to start with a smaller hole to start with. And that's not working very well because it's a very hard bit of wood and not a very sharp a very sharp drill so I'm just going to take that nub off and give myself a smooth surface to start the drill with. Uh, I'm going to speed up a bit, take the little nub off. So a little indent and hopefully the drill will find that a bit easier rather than it wandering. Obviously you could do this with your spindle gouge, but I don't like doing that because I find it goes through it over the place. So again, under a thousand revs. Put the forcer in, and that just needs to be set so I have the right depth, full diameter for the full length of the slightly larger taper. So that's okay, that's set, lock that on, wind that back so it doesn't snag to start with, chuck it out, and speed down. Now I've got a hole that should just about take this. It's full of sawdust at the moment, but that's okay. I should get that out in a minute. Um, I keep on thinking I should get an airline, but I never quite get around to it. Still, it's the right diameter, which is the main thing, and hopefully it's the right depth. Well, he says. 
that's uh, not wanting to go in at the moment, so that might mean that I need to put the drill back in. Unless I need to... Right, so let's just clear that hole out. Line that back in properly. A little bit more. Enough depth to do so. Hopefully that will clear it out. Well enough to make sure that this will go in. Yeah, that will go in now. Just bore the outside and cut a little detail at the top. Okay. Alignment coming in here. Just going to spin it down. Make a nice little, nice little shape there. So we put a burn wire mark down the centre. In a minute, I'll just dress the top now. Just make a little depression here. Just so it looks like it can catch the water if it drips over. Just going to go in by eye. Put that about the right diameter. Yeah, that now should go all the way in in due course. Uh, and that's the piece pretty well finished, just needs to be parted off and sanded. I've just put some um, lemon oil on it briefly, uh, just to sort of give it a bit of a bit of a finish, uh, keep it looking natural. I'm just going to part the piece off now. Uh, so I can see already that I've got a lot of uh, plucking on this. You know, face here, which would be quite difficult to actually remove just by parting it off. So, uh, what I want to try and do now is actually finish the parting off, and then I'm going to try and reverse chuck it uh, and uh, see if I can actually manage to tidy that up. I'm going to put a um, light pull drive in. Uh, and that so that I can just hold it on a little bit of pressure on the light pull and bring a tailstock drive up that's got a bit of a, a bit of a V to it like this so that I can actually turn and cut right down to that point. But I've got an approximate centre mark where I can see the nub. So let's just hope this will work. Pop that in. So I'm just going to put a little bit more pressure on there. 
and then I'm going to try and create a little undercut in here with a good old trusty camera, no, nothing left of it. Spindle gouge. So that, that turns on it. A push cut all the way down and hope that that will then fill it up. I will try and take off by hand. You can see there's a little bit of uh, plucking here. Right, uh, I've now finished the item off and uh, I will put a couple of rather tired looking small uh, daffodils that have just gone over, little baby narcissus. Uh, the bottom's now finished nicely, showing off the natural grain. There we have it, very simple to do beginners uh, weed pot with a bit of burning done here.